What up, my people? It's your boy O.T. White, a.k.a. African Teddy Bear, and you're listening to Wawabanta on Afro Vice Radio. Yes, drop it. Worldwide. <laughs> Can't forget the worldwide, because yes. we worldwide now. I'm in the studio. I got some beautiful people, some more beautiful than others, but um, <laughs> beautiful nonetheless. All right, so we're going to do Thanks, quick introductions. I wasn't talking about you. Um, quick introductions to my right. What's good, everybody? I go by the name of Heidi Time. Heidi Time. What's up? Is that your Instagram? I feel like there's a joke in there somewhere. No, that's my name. Heidi, Heidi Time. time. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Birth name. Swear. For real? Swear to God. I'll show you my license after. Y'all yeah, need to see this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next to her, we got my boy Drewski. King Drewski. Royalty, royalty, royalty. Mm -hmm. Dope, you should make a shirt with that. Coming soon, coming soon. <laughs> 2018 March. <laughs> and to my left, I got my boy Ophili Designs. The general overseer. I can see your future past and present. That sounds like a t shirt, too. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna, we just got merch in this body, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And next to my boy Ophili, I got the beautiful Amina. That's it. That's, oh, That's wow. It. You are even gonna right add there. nothing to that? What like, more? I don't know. Maybe it's. I don't know. I just felt like you was going to ta -ta, sprinkle, sprinkle, whatever. Never mind. <laughs> cool. All right. So, uh, like we do every week, we got some juicy, juicy topic to talk about. Drop it. Y'all ready? Yes, so. Let's I don't go. think you're ready. Y'all ready? <laughs> we are ready. All right. This week, we talking double standards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> double standard. What comes to your mind when you hear double standards? I just hear... Whoa. Women Ooh, suffering. That was that ratchet count. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh -huh. It's just, I just hear discrimination. Whoa. Like, that's the first thing I think uh, about. You one of them feminist types? No, type? no, no, no. I'm not. I'm <laughs> scared. Like, the standard, um, discrimination towards girls. Discrimination. discrimination, period. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, just discrimination. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have any double standards that come to mind? I do, um, oh, like, when it comes to dating or just having fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, fun. boys can have fun. Sex. Which kind of fun? Like, uh, let me see, me and, you know, Drew right man. now. Not me, or not, not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Go on, I mean, sure, go. No, let me see me and Drew right now, right? Mm. We're just talking. Mm -hmm. You're friends with Drew, and Drew is just like, Oh, I'm seeing, I'm going on a date tomorrow with Amina, and then I'm supposed to be talking to him, but I'm supposed to be loyal and not talk to nobody else, but he's a very well okay to go play around. But if I do it... Mm. You are in cut last. No, I'm this is actually, this actually how that goes. Exactly. Yeah, both of y'all allowed to do whatever you want. Yeah. You just don't tell the other person about it. That's, oh, no. No. That's how that works. No, 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 Girls, we, no. we know how to report ourselves. Like uh -huh. We just know how to fall head in like idiots. But what can oh, I say? Okay. Am I lying? I mean, uh, <laughs> no, same, sis. Same. Thank wow, you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Andrew, do you have any double standards? Yeah, I have a whole book. It's a whole book. First off, why is it that when... Chapter one. <laughs> <laughs> when, when a child, when a father can't take care of his child, what does he do? They put him in jail. If a woman can't take care of her child, they put her on welfare. Damn, I never <laughs> thought of that. Oh. Think of it. But you are damn. onto something. Then let's talk about a very, very you no know, touchy. Let's talk about this whole sexual assault now. Mm -hmm. Why is the girl believed over the guy? A girl can just stand up tomorrow. Oh, he raped me and they carry you first. You know what's funny? Yeah. It's true because if a, if a girl says that, right? You get arrested. They just automatically believe her. Mm -hmm. If a guy comes and says, oh, yeah, I fucked her, her, her. Nigga, stop lying <laughs> on your dick, bro. Stop lying on your dick, nigga. That's nah, bro. So, that is. Yeah. That's a good. But wait, wait. Talking, talking about sexual assault, mm -hmm. it's just because so many, like, if you check the percentage, I don't want to say facts that I don't know, mm -hmm. but pretty much most of the time, women are sexually assaulted more. Yeah. So most of the time, it's just automatically believed. I that, think it's oh, that women happened. report sexual assault more. Than but, guy, 
think of, okay double standards if uh-huh. a girl is whooping your ass in the house yes <laughs> how do you come come to your guys and be like man i mean i slap me again <laughs> <laughs> Just I like that. I don't know how, how I can continue. Or just to give you the cop that uh, I called. No. Then it's like, hey, my, my, my girlfriend slapped me. <laughs> really, bro. That's why you yeah. called me. <laughs> Imagine if it was Nigerian police. Mm-hmm. You now call Nigerian police to tell them, I mean, I slapped you. <laughs> they will slap you. <laughs> I live out wow. of anger. <laughs> it's just. I don't know. You can't do anything about double standards. Like that's my own opinion. Mm-hmm. It was created by man, yeah. and it's not going anywhere. Because if we talk about, oh, I thought it was that. If we talk about double standards, let's go into um, equality. Yeah, equality. equality. That's that's where you now really start to understand. Like people are just picking what works for them. Yes, right. and using it to um, push on other people. Like this whole equality. Um, the same paycheck. Equal, yeah. The same paycheck. I agree with that. But now, if we're equal. I must still open the door for door you. For you. I must still take you out on dates. <laughs> but yeah, pay for the first date. That's when the did like no. being a nice human being uh-uh. exactly become divided? Hold on, hold on. It's, no, no, no it's, not it's, it's not. It's not. It's not. Not being a nice. Look, this is the thing, right? Why do I have to be the one to open the door? Why can't you see me coming and go <clears throat> you don't open have the door to. for me? We have the same capabilities. Mm-hmm. It's but it's, it's usually never the woman opening the door for the man. Because uh, what I'm trying to say, I'm not saying that we sh- as guys, we shouldn't open the door and, yeah. mm-hmm. and be gentlemen. I, d- I didn't say that. But if you're going to throw this equality yeah. and throw it in our face so much where guys are not feeling like... Like uh, you're even growing a dick, Seb. Like, might as well have a dick so we all be equal. I mean, really, though. <laughs> but why? <laughs> but what, I, what I'm trying to say is, like, don't pick the one that works for you. If you're going full on, uh-huh. let's do yeah. this complete. But okay, so in going full on and mm-hmm. like not opening doors for women, how do you court a woman? Mm-hmm. What do you do? You There's no like cutting. We are equal. You slide in a DM. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes, you please. like a couple of her pictures. <laughs> Heart eye emoji. Nigga, what? This is 2018. It's different but, now. But when you say courting, um, isn't that like, that's old school, right? We don't court anymore. Because today, oh, okay. so today you know, door, right? no, it's not out the door. I'm not saying it's out. It's just today is different. Mm-hmm. It is different. It you is. know, this courting you're talking about, that's when even women were not equal. That, that one, you can't even Yeah, you can't touch to that, that one. Yeah. So it's like, Are you're we? talking about the past. What? Okay, so, so if we're talking about double standards, like, mm-hmm. okay, women weren't equal back then, so we say we're still not equal now. You still not got to open the door? No, that's not. Okay. No, he's saying what? back then when women weren't equal, that's when the whole court, the whole chivalry and opening the door thing was really trending. That's when that it was, was something you had to yeah. do. Oh, so it was a fad. Yeah, like now it's it not like, even that serious. It's now not it's in like style gross anymore. Underst- if you don't do it, she's not even gonna notice. I'm not even joking. It's that bad now. Though. It's I to mean, the point where if you do open the doors, when she notices, she's confused. Oh, wow, <laughs> he opens. So doors. you wouldn't want to do that. Huh? No, no. I, I, I open doors because that's why my dad told me you you be a gentleman. I do that, right. but. I'm just like what he's saying. Be 100 percent in your stance. If you're, if you're doing this, <clears throat> equality, and nobody's saying it's wrong to okay. open door. But what I'm trying to say is that some people pick the one that works for them mm-hmm. and push it. Mm-hmm. Like if you, we're talking about this chivalry, right? Mm-hmm. We're, you know, we're supposed to do it. But let's pick another topic where ladies will now make it look like, you know, if you don't do it, something is wrong yeah. or. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to exactly But even exactly basically, right now, but I feel like you're saying we have to pick option A right, or, option or B. B. Like, no, no, no. no. You no. say equality. I mean. Equality means across all boards. All around? Yeah. Like, all yeah. boards. Like equality. 50-50. Right? Equal. Right. Yes. But even going back to what Drew was saying where mm-hmm. it was like the whole... Um, what was it? The um, the rape thing, not even rape, the, the, the sexual assault. assault right? Sexual misconduct. <laughs> yes, that one. <laughs> See, it's like... They will believe, like the law enforce, enforcers will believe us first because mm-hmm. tying this with the whole man opening doors, paying the bill, it's a perception where men are more physically cap- capable than us. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. your belt beggar. I mean, we are your rib. I mean, come on. Nobody got talk for Bible. We True. were built. Uh-huh. So in essence, you're bigger and more powerful. So the things that you're able to do, we are looked upon like we can't handle them. Okay. If if so, if you hit me now, police come here. I say he 
choked me. They'll believe me because one, he's a guy. They, boy, you're stronger than that girl, period. But your hand doesn't, it pains too. <laughs> but what of the girls that slapped you? You know that I'm bigger than you. Why will you attempt to slap me? Because. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. It's it's self defense. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You see a lion yeah. chilling. See, Would you go poke it with really? a stick? No. Why not? Because you don't want him to eat your ass. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Why why play with fire? Because also going back to that, you said your dad told you that mm. it's the right thing to do to open a door for a woman. Yeah. Yes. In our heads, too, is the right thing. Hopefully, that your dad said, don't put your hands on a woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, in essence, when we do that, as stupid as we are to put hands on you, we're expecting for you to not hit us. Now, when you do hit us, it's like shock. Okay. Shock? <laughs> Let's not keep digging. <laughs> shock. So okay. she's, she's snitching on all the girls. This is their mentality. <laughs> I'm not I'll hit girl. you, but don't hit me. Yeah. You're not supposed to hit no, me no. because I, I'm a girl. I was and shocked. my punch is just, my hand is made of wool. It doesn't no, pain. No, 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 no. It's not that it doesn't <laughs> pain. It's, it's not that we don't, do, we do it like it doesn't hurt. It, emotions. It's, it's not even emotions. We're doing it off of my slap will not pain you the way your own okay, slap will pain you me. Know. You know what, what I mean? She knows MMA. <laughs> That's, that's different of who she to get the like, guy. control herself. Right. Know? So her slap still won't hurt you that much. She'll exactly. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. She's in M at me. How will she control her slap? <laughs> <laughs> like, she knows how to kill you. She knows where to touch you. And you just off. And you piss that kind of person off. You can be chopping her toto. She just... You don't end. You don't end. <laughs> <You don't end. laughs> <laughs> just remember what fuck up you did. I just... <laughs> Headlock. Headlock. Yeah. <laughs> so my question is, do you think it's fair, though, on us as guys? It's not because I feel like the pressure is way too much for the guys to be this perfect being. True. You know, we wow. expect too much. Sincerely, I'm not a feminist or nothing, but I feel like we girls expect too much of you. And most girls are not willing to do for the man what the man would do for them. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. We we can snap. <laughs> <laughs> that was like it hit like yeah. a part of my brain. But I mean, you, you have something to say? Mm, I feel like we can agree to disagree agree. on that one. Alpha female. <laughs> 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 it's okay. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> okay, so. I don't know. I just feel like sometimes there's a lot expected from women too, True. or almost you know nothing. The same, the same thing. So it really just depends. You can't generalize and say all women this, all women no. that, right, all no. men this, all men that. But I think more often than not, women are definitely expected to upkeep themselves, do this for the guy, do that for the guy. Mm-hmm. And then when they're like talking or dating, like you were saying earlier, mm-hmm. women are expected to not necessarily be as promiscuous or date as much when they're you know, seeing one guy or something, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're expected to do things like what people say is girlfriend or wifey material, so cook for them, be here, be there, clean for them, like be there, everything. And the dude is just doing whatever he wants to do, so. Right, but even when, see, first of all, when I say this, it will sound like I'm supporting the guys or I but girl, I know what you mean. But see, when it goes back to you saying the upkeep, In this day and age, it's like, even for an upkeep, it's like, oh, you expect the boy to give you money to buy Brazilian, Mm -hmm. do your nails, take you shopping for a dress that you're going to wear to go out on a date with him. Well, that's where where it becomes problematic because it's expectations. Right. That's why with the whole sexual assault thing, men are like, oh, you know, I didn't do anything wrong. And women, like, start to blame guys because they do things like open doors and spend their money and give you this and give you that. So, they, you know, they expect things like sex or or this special treatment Mm -hmm. and so forth and so Mm -hmm. on. So, you can't be expecting those things things you have to be on a level playing field when you walk in the door with double standards that's right. what you're gonna get cool. and women are taking advantage of that because <clears throat> i'm the weaker i'm the weaker sex which means i cannot say anything and anybody just believes i agree with that and i agree with their that. weakness is their strength yeah 
But right now we're gonna take a quick musical break. Right now we're about to play this song "I Don't Knock" by my boy Titanium. Y'all listen and be blessed. Can I? Man, them we about to get lit. Get lit. Skirt, skirt. I'm about to get chicks. Pull up on the block 'cause the party by the rock and the butter by the pop. I'm the man. Whoop, whoop. Man took a little henny for the system. Now I'm feeling myself. Oh shit. Told this girl that I wanna pay a bright price. And she said I know where I'm going. Oh well, well, well on to the and next. And we're back like we never <laughs> left. <laughs> You're listening to Wawa Banta on Afro Vibes Radio Worldwide. <laughs> Gotta say the worldwide or it doesn't count. All right, before we left, we were talking about double standards and just different double standards with men and women in like society or just in general. Mm-hmm. In general. And these two young ladies, they was having a tit for tat, you know, little back and forth action. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting toned on? That sounded a little. <laughs> Yeah, on the I, sexual it side. Did. I didn't mean it like that. Unless this is how I feel. Like when okay. females, when females ask for equality, I feel like you're even stepping down because you don't even want to come to a guy's level. <laughs> like what? Do you know what we? Do you know kind of work we put in? Yes. This girl, you can just sit down in your apartment. Someone snap, snap, chat you. Oh, do you want me to pay your rent? Have you ever gotten that? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever gotten that? If you haven't, that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> you see? There was something my mom told me once, and this thing just blew my mind. I just was like, I couldn't understand, bro. She said, when you get married to a woman, right? As a man, your money is our money. Her money is her money. And her money is, is her, her money. money. <laughs> <Right>. What? <laughs> <laughs> How? Like, I feel like that's the truth. Like, my mm-hmm. karate instructor, who's like a father figure to me, told me that a woman between the ages of what did he say, like seventeen and thirty-two, can get whatever she wants. Wow! Like, period. Period. Mm-hmm. How, like, how? Because you are rent right paid, paid, money, open yeah. doors, this, that. Like, mm-hmm. and it really d- comes down to, like, on the surface, it sounds sexual, but it comes down to you're of childbearing age, you're yeah. young, you're vibrant. Pussy like, is power. That's it. That you, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, Dick ain't like, shit. Dick don't do shit for you. <laughs> Bro, it's, it's sad. Yeah. Oti, you look so very why unhappy. Why, so why do you want to be equal? Like, I, I wish I could just sit down and someone pay my rent. Bro. Well, it's not even about that because earlier you said, like, um, women won't, like, step down. Why? Uh-huh. When you could just step up. Like, just step up. You, know? you can step you up from a guy. <laughs> you know how many girls are getting their rent paid for driving to 2016 okay, so car? If that's the case. It sounds like Andrew really needs rent money. <laughs> right. <laughs> but he, say, it's either he needs rent money or he just paid some girls rent. So me, uh, you know, I've never bought a drink for a girl in the club. I can boast about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let some rent. Damn. Oh my god, that's sad. Overpriced is. is ten dollars <laughs> <laughs> for a shot. We don't have much. A bottle of wine is that big, you know, the red wine. Merlot. Yes, it's b- in in Walmart. <laughs> no, no, sweet red. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That big, ga- that big gallon. <laughs> oh my god! If I buy ten dollars, I have to be fucked up for the next ladies week for the whole week. Please. Get know. at him! Get at him! <laughs> no, ladies, stay away from Andrew. Wow, I'm yeah. catching gum. We are going to pregame. We are going to drink well, and we enter the club. <laughs> if you want, we can even keep the bottle in the car in case you, you, your team run out. You come out of the club, you drink. <laughs> <laughs> When it's cold outside, but you're dating Andrew. <laughs> Bro, Andrew Take sound. <laughs> Andrew sound like the Bro. type of nigga that get like an empty bottle of goose <laughs> and pour taco vodka in there. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. That is packaging. I don't do that. Uh, Try it. No, Andrew's on his was water on the rocks. Jesus. <laughs> Just Bro. hold the glass with a lime. With a lime. With a lime. <laughs> <laughs> There's another subsection of uh, this double standard I think we didn't even touch on. Jesus, It's even with parents, African parents especially. <laughs> Do you feel like African parents have double standards when it comes to like raising, raising their children? Like boys what versus girls? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Of yes. Course. Of course. The girl cannot go out till she's 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Facts. Till, till there is a husband yes. material, not boyfriend Facts. though. The real husband Facts. that wants to introduce, yep. mm-hmm. then she can go out. But Bro, for like guys, they don't care. Her coffee is six o'clock. The guys on is eleven p.m. 
yep. prom, even me. Okay, for example, when I went to prom, I'm even to this day surprised I went to prom. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> that my mom, like, entertained the idea of me taking a woman out We'll go and eat, Dude. then go and dance disco. <laughs> then, <laughs> disco. After dancing disco, we'll now go and chill in hotel till late at night, then come back. Wait, wait, no, you, you like skip the story. So you chill in the hotel and did what? But the whole What's that's not even minds? the point. That's not the point. The point is <laughs> I'm surprised that that even happened, right? But nonetheless, it happened. I got to go to prom. Now my sister, on the other hand, my younger sister. Time for prom. She didn't even. She already even knew not to ask. <laughs> when to act like, like she got to go to prom, but she went by herself. Oh no! Yeah, I told her, why did you even go? Oh no! <laughs> why? Oh. Why? I wouldn't even go. Why? <laughs> Damn. Bro, I and I, I always felt sad it. for her about that. That it was it was different. Like the way my my dad obviously I would say favored me and my brother. But he was more relaxed with me and my brother than mm -hmm. with my sisters. Your guys now. But we got to understand, though. As a son, you are the hunter. Mm -hmm. As a daughter, you are getting hunted. That's true. So. Oh, so when you're younger, it's okay for these double standards to be a thing. <clears throat> yeah, it's cool. Because earlier I did talk about, you know, women being of childbearing age. So yeah. it's like. Yeah. You, you have your point. daughter can come home with a child in her stomach. True. You can yeah. come home with a grandchild. Like, True. that's another mouth to feed. Right. That's why they're like, no, you can't go anywhere. Right. Unless you're going to get a job. True. <laughs> that job self, they will ask you to your dad. I, I remember. <laughs> I know. I remember um, even with curfew. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like, first of all, I fought the whole curfew battle, bro. I curfew fought means this. you can go somewhere. That's funny. That's but funny. I, I fought the curfew battle, bro. Like, man, I fought it. Like, for real. I think I'm the reason my younger siblings even had the opportunity to even go outside the house. Damn. Because my parents just lost that battle when it came to me. When I was in high school as a senior, my curfew was 8 o'clock. Jeez. <laughs> So I wow. was just, I, I looked at it as like, okay, you're obviously not serious. You're not trying to meet me halfway, so fuck y'all. Like, I'm just going to do what I want to do. do. What bills right? are you paying at this point? None, actually. But <laughs> that's not the point. You had a right? lot of say-so. That's right. not, no, because it's like, y'all not even trying to like, like meet me halfway or anything. No, like, I at all. It. So mm. it's like, man, forget it. I'm trying, to, I'm even like trying to, okay. Let's make it 11. Nope. They're not even trying to budge. <laughs> like, not okay, it that's it. No. Were you there doing was, extra things to get this? Like, were you cleaning the whole house well, and then asking? I already do that. Like, that's already part of what you're supposed to do as a Nigerian child. You can't even think of asking to go out and you haven't done your chores. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. No, I were you have, cooking you're, full meals? Especially when you're asking for, to go out, yeah. you have to mm -hmm. do like three weeks in advance work. yeah yeah oh start Lord. acting good start washing yeah. plates before Bro, they tell you i'll tell you one time i led um this the morning devotion <laughs> bro i woke up early woke everybody in the house up like i woke everybody else my dad was shocked like wow <laughs> they changed man what did the most like i didn't raise praise i worship song i was so i was in the spirit Bro. i swear but you know what's so funny your parents already know the stupid shit you're doing. Right. My mom, yeah. if I do all these things, she would just look at me. So, what is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. What, what do you want? Mm -hmm. And when you not ask, thinking you've done all your work, because when they ask you, it looks like you've reached the max. Mm -hmm. When you not tell them, no. It's as simple as that. There's no, no, you're not going. But you can, I like what you're doing in the house. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're really being good. This, this is how we raised you. Oh, what? But no. you're not going. My mom, she'd be like, oh, I'll think about it. <laughs> Do you know how I was pulling my hair out? Like, oh, she's thinking about it. Maybe I can go. The answer was still no. Dang. Mom that waiting that's... period was terrible. <laughs> right before you're about to go, she would tell you, ah, Junior, I had a dream. <laughs> oh, man. I had a dream. If that's and not the fact. Bro, but you know, Funny enough, I make I make jokes about it, but my mom then had some some pre, some dreams. God damn it! Right, like she's Point. seen some stuff in dreams, and then like a few days later, boom, it happens. It happens. I'm yeah. like, what the? Nah, it's. What? I went to Cameroon in 2014, mind you. My family is very lenient. They don't mind. They're mm -hmm. like, we trust you. Hi, God, thank God. But I went to Cameroon yeah. 2014. My grandfather died. So my entire family from everywhere, we go back. And I'm like, yes, you know me and the cousins. We're about to, you know, 
link up. We're going to sneak in time to turn up, right? Mm-hmm. Let me enjoy Cameroon in some fun way. I remember it was this night. My cousins, the boys, they're telling my uncles, oh, we're going to go out tonight. We got a club, da 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 They're like, okay, cool. Well, you guys have fun. Oh, Heidi's coming too. Do, do you guys know what time it is? <laughs> you are expecting her to go outside at 8 o'clock. I'm like, wow. bro, when I tell you I crawled out of a window <laughs> and <laughs> entered Okada because we did not want taxi to stop in front of the house. I hated that feeling though because I'm just like, why do I have to go through this just to go out? Double but standard. double standards. Another, another double standard I just remembered. Like, I remember when I brought, like, I. I want to say two exes ago, I introduced her to my parents. This is the first Jesus. girl I ever introduced wow. to my parents. Two but exes. this is the thing I realized. <laughs> this is the thing I realized that I could even think of doing that because I'm a guy. Right. My sister, <laughs> she can't. She can't even. She can't even entertain the thought of bringing a guy. You know, to the you, house. You don't have boyfriend. You, you, you have, have friend. You have friend. Friend, friend, friend then guy. friend to husband. Bond. Bond. Straight up. Mm-hmm. Fiance is no boyfriend. Uh, Fiance, you don't want to say fiance till like maybe a month to the wedding. <laughs> when you're sure they've paid all the bride price, everything is settled, uh-huh, and then you can start saying fiance. Oh, man. And you know, in Nigeria, I mean, Nigeria and Congo, like the girls, mm-hmm. they are not allowed to get their own apartment <laughs> till that is the true. husband comes. It's, prob- it's probably changing now. now. It's not <laughs> but that's, that's another thing. I, I feel like women even have it easier. Day. Y'all have that option of staying in your parents' house till you get married. As a man, you true. can't even do that. That's an easy option. I, I can't. I mean, it's, it's still an option nonetheless. It's like, not, you can actually decide, I don't want to get an apartment. Think about being a 30-year-old woman in your mama house. I oh. get that. But it's not as bad as being a 30-year-old man no. in, no. Your, in your mama's house. It's, it's worse. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not than a guy, 30 years Can old in your parents' house. Come on. That's Come on. bad for y'all's pride. No, That's <laughs> bad. It, it's That's worse all. for men. You can't be that age no. still living with your mama, bro. Because the way Nigeria, but y'all do. the way Nigerian I parents don't. talk about this marrying, yes, you know, is 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 harsh. Like, but you know the funny thing, even Nigerian parents would want their son to stay in the house till he gets married. <laughs> yes, they just want complete control <laughs> over your whole life. Because you know, in, in African parents, <laughs> like, you never grow. If you don't leave the house, you are four years. Yeah. <laughs> you are still four years That's old. I remember after I moved out of my parents' house, right? I moved out like you know, I'm a man. I'm gonna take care of myself. I don't need you, dad. Bro, I hit one <laughs> rough <laughs> patch in life. Man, I just I sucked up my pride. And I got that must come back. I asked my dad for money, right? So five minutes after leaving the house. <laughs> <laughs> so he gives me money. He's happy to give me the money. Gives me money, bro. Like the next day, nigga starts chipping in his two cents on how oh, I yes. live my life. Oh, <laughs> that's his money. Mm-hmm. Talking about some, you haven't come to church in the past two months. Mm-hmm. How you not tithing Just, the money that he gave you? Bro, yes. it was it was hell. <laughs> it was hell, bro. Parents oh. gotta make sure you know, like that two dollars I added to pay tax when your rent was due. Yeah. I will tell you what to do because that's my two dollars. Yeah, but don't girls get preferential treatment when it comes to like parents giving money? But Who is willing to get money out of your dad? <laughs> it's always the girl that wins. Now. But it depends on who. You know, moms have favorites, dads mm-hmm. have favorites, so right. it, it still depends. I don't think it's preferential. Shit, I grew up. My mom has three. My family is just women, women, women. Oh. I was treated like a guy. It's like it, till this date. Shy. Mm-hmm. Mm, I pay. Bi- I live in Houston. I pay bills in Dallas. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you, got you. some man problems. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay. But the thing, the thing is, this double standard thing, right? <sighs> do you think it's gonna ever end? No. 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 It was created by man. So yeah. how? <laughs> I, think it, I don't think it will end because it favors some people. That's yeah. the thing about double That's standards. That's the problem. It's if always going to favor take one a side. Step forward no. and take a stand against these double standards. Things can do, change. Do you, know, do you know how me I feel? I feel like, to be honest, we are not equal. Mm, we're not. We're we're not. We're not. <laughs> you cannot compare two things that are not the same. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we all have our own different. Who said that? We're not. Someone has I, a. I, dick. I read this thing. It no. said women women weren't person. created to do the same things men were created to do. That doesn't they, mean we're not equal. It means they were. They said they were created to we do things jobs. men can't do. So it's like the things they can do that we can't do, and the things we can do that yeah. they can't do. So it's like True. a yin yang yeah. kind of thing. So 
equality I, doesn't even really make sense. I don't think it would no, ever stop. It depends on how you say standard. it. Because what you said made sense. But I think treating fair. It's weird. I'm not, not I, it's not discrimination. It's just that is double standards. We can't be, it's because of the fact that we are not equal. We can't be equal. That's why there's always differences. It's True. not that we can't be equal. We just have to equal. understand that we, there's not, not going to be choosing a package A, 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 a or B. B. Yeah. There's right. going to be different situations where different things apply. apply. You're going to mm-hmm. have to adjust to men yeah. and women. It takes using your brain is all. Let them and that wraps it for a wall Let banter. That wraps it. Plex, 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 plex. That wraps it for wall banter. On Afrovise Radio. If worldwide. you like what we talked about. Yes. <laughs> worldwide, worldwide. Don't forget the worldwide. If you like what we talked about, uh, you want to chip in, comments, whatever, feel free to leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Feel free to also follow us on all social media platforms at Afrovise Radio on Instagram and on Twitter. And follow us at Wawa Boys on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, everything. You feel me? Um, I'm O.T. White. This is... Heidi Time. That's your Instagram handle? <gasps> Life is Heidi underscore. Okay, cool. And this is... King Drewski, Dangote's friend. <laughs> 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 Dangote, send money, please. <laughs> and my boy, um, Ophelia. Ophelia Designs. And Amina at the dot Amina underscore. Mm. There you go. Y'all have a blessed week ahead and read your Bible. I know Sabi where I did now, but I feel like the man of the people. My guys just throw me twilight. I do look to the sky for my equal. Right